Now, what's it like if you're a young person who's maybe dropped out of college, doesn't know how to perform at a job interview or even write a CV? How would you ever find work? Well, we've been following one scheme that gives such teenagers a start and it's opened here in Sandwich. So, methods of applying. Eleanor? Oh, uh, you can use cover letters. Cover letters, good. 17-year-old Eleanor Bromit and 18-year-old Ben Roberts belong to a group called NEETS, young people not in education, employment or training. I dropped out of college because I didn't get the right GCSEs. I couldn't do what I wanted at that college. I tried doing it for like three weeks and it was not for me. It's basically about time that I've finally got off my own bed instead of playing PS4 or laptop and that I'm actually trying to find a job. One of the key things that you guys are going to need to focus on when you go forward for interviews is making yourself relevant, okay? They've just started a six-week employability okay. training course for 16 to 18-year-olds run by Middleton Murray, a recruitment company in Sidcup. They're being taught interview skills, how to write CVs effectively and how to act in the workplace. Then they'll be introduced to potential employers across the southeast who are looking for apprentices. So far, the scheme has helped over 1,200 young people get an apprenticeship. We can offer them increase in skills and knowledge, you know, in terms of industry-based training, customer service, maybe sales, and then all the employability stuff that surrounds that. We can offer them a chance to improve their confidence and communication. Focusing on professionalism gets them into a, a professional mindset, really. There are 25 young people on this course. Most of them have had little experience of the workplace and have struggled to find jobs. Because I weren't getting many callbacks, my mum was just thinking that I wasn't trying. Trying to get a job was the most hardest thing. I was convincing her night after night that I am trying, mum. I'm, I'm really trying, but you just don't know how hard it is. I tried to write my own CV without anyone helping me or any experience on writing a CV. I think only two people ended up coming back to me. You just make yourself think that you're not clever, you just that no one wants you and that you're going to forever be unemployed. It felt really hard to even try and get up to go and give another CV and because you'd be like, what's the point? It's, they're not even going to, because I've got no experience, my qualica qualifications ain't that great, so they're not even going to bother taking me on, so why am I going to try? Now, to get that elusive job, they've gone back to the classroom. Even though it's classroom-based work, and it may feel like school, it, it's not nothing like school and I hated school. Like, school was the worst place, I like the worst place for me. But as soon as I came here, it's like I wanted to come here every day because it's stuff that you want to learn to move on in life. Although total unemployment in the country is falling, youth unemployment is still very high and parts of Kent have a particular problem. Areas like Shepway, Swale, Dover, Gravesham and Thanet have levels of youth unemployment which are higher than the national average. So, the recruitment company has brought its scheme to East Kent. With the support of the County Council, it recently opened an office in Discovery Park, the former Pfizer site at Sandwich. It's acting like a dating agency, matching up young unemployed people in the area with the businesses here that need staff. I'm from Ramsgate. I've got quite a few friends who are employed but not full-time work and only part-time work. But I also have a few friends who have been looking for apprenticeships and found it quite hard. I'm from Sandwich. There's not loads of opportunities for us to make something you know, happen in our lives. Angela Middleton is the company's chief executive officer. She's already started placing apprentices with the businesses here at Discovery Park. You find a lot of young people will say to us, I don't mind what I do, I'll do anything. And um, that can be very confusing and difficult for an employer because an employer likes someone to come to them and uh, be very clear about, number one, what it is they want to achieve and number two, what, they, what value they can add to that employer. So we work with young people and get them to a point where actually they can show the best of themselves and really sort of shine at interview. And at the same time as that's happening, we're actually talking to the small businesses and then showing them case studies, encouraging them to give, give a young person a chance. And when we've got both groups ready, we bring them into our office and that's where they meet and that's where it starts. You ready? Come on up, better now. Back in Sidcup, it's four weeks into the course and Eleanor is feeling more confident about her future. I think I've become 
like more independent, getting up at like half six, seven, getting on a bus, coming in for nine. It feels like I'm growing up and even though I'm only 17, it feels like I'm out in the real world now. Today, she and some of the other trainees are having an interview with a local letting agent, which is offering a 12-month apprenticeship in business admin. This week is the first week of interviews, so hopefully all the preparation we've done with them to this point has really sort of, you know, come into its own now. My qualifications that I got from school uh, were nine GCSEs, including maths, English and ICT. I'm quite a shy person when it comes to talking in front of loads of people, but my confidence is getting there. I would also be good at answering phone calls as I've done this and also I think my hard work, eager learn, learning and uh, dedication would be good in your company. Thank you. I got quite emotional because I thought I did really bad. I was like, I'm in an R in the whole way through it and then I just went completely blank. Your customers and issues. Um, Um, I think I'll be good in your company. And I don't know if I've got it yet, so they might they might see that it was all right, but we'll see. Is our education and employment system wrong if it needs someone like you to come and do that very basic thing of introducing a young person who's just left school or college to an employer who yeah. needs a young person yeah. who's just left school and gone. I know, I mean, I think it's, it's interesting that schools are very, very motivated and targeted to achieve certain levels of education. Of course, that is absolutely essential. Mm. But in doing that, it leaves little time for the employability skills, the confidence building and the careers aspirations to be built. After two rounds of interviews, Eleanor didn't get the job at the letting agent, but she was offered an apprenticeship in business and administration with a drainage company in Bromley. I've been doing invoices, I've been doing a dicta phones where I had to type up letters to send off to clients. My confidence was quite low and now that I'm here, I believe my confidence has gone from like down here all the way up to here. For my future, I want to have like a happy life where I'm always stable so I know that I have money to help myself like a long life and also just hopefully have my own family. Ben will be starting an apprenticeship in sales and marketing in April and he's looking forward to the future. Now since this has come into effect it, my whole life is on a U-turn I've got felt like I've got a second chance that I can now put what I learned at school to good use, what I learned here at good use, what I learned at my previous job at good use, and basically it's just made me so much happier. I think this place is one of the best things that could ever happen to me.